All right, so yesterday we checked out the Terran pieces in StarCrafts, and the day before that we went ahead and played Zerg. Today it is time to check out all of the Protoss units that are available while playing a 3 versus 3 once again. So my allies are also going to be playing Protoss, and the opposing players are going to all be Terran. Now we gotta be a little bit careful, because they obviously can make Marines, and Marines are pretty terrifying. But the first thing I noticed is that every single time I, I finish up a probe, <laughs> Jack in the Box shows up right there. No, not necessarily, but like... This dude shows up right here. Is that going to be the Hierarch? I, I don't know his name. He, he probably has a name. I, I apologize in case I'm, 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 you know, I'm supposed to know that. But either way, uh, I'm going to try and make each and every Protoss unit in this game so you can have an overview of exactly what they look like and how they move and what their animations are like and all that. Uh, obviously, I may accidentally end up forgetting one or two because there are quite a couple of them, but I think we'll be good to go. So this is going to be a scouting SCV here, first and foremost. I got my expansion already going up pretty straightforward in that regard and I think if you manage to get like a bunch of Protoss units out that would be pretty helpful for us I'll also go ahead and grab my second gas now because we can and at the same time I want to be going here for my second pylon as well so I can make that and hopefully grab ourselves the early game adept as well as a zealot and all that actually normally you don't really want to be making all right fine I'll make a zealot here as well nah you know what I'm gonna go and play defense are you kidding me are you kidding me? Are you really making a bunker right there? Oh, I was gonna say. I'm already making an adept right now. I think we'll be okay. Oh, man. These things were on idle for a little bit. Ugh. It's a little difficult sometimes to spot exactly what's going on. Expansion has been finished up, though. Got the double gas going up right now. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and put up a pylon in my natural, too, just for the photon overcharge as soon as I can. If we are producing... If we're producing two Nexus... Or, like, two Nexus probes, right? That's gonna mean that the guy is gonna show up a heck of a lot. That's okay, though. Got my first adept out. Let's shade it. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's so funny. That's so funny. All right, next up, we'll go for a zealot. Next up, we'll go for a zealot. Also gonna make sure, obviously, that we're gonna be pushing out across the map, at least for a little bit with this dude. And if I can... There we go. We got the Mothership Core as well. If I can, I want to be starting up my other gas-heavy stuff relatively soon. Now, normally, Protoss does have a bit of a hard, you know, hard time. Did he just go for a full wall in? Not bad. We gotta actually be careful here, because he's right at our doorstep, and he might very well be making a lot of mariners. But generally speaking, you gotta be a, a little bit careful here about engaging in, uh, in StarCraft, because I'm not all too used to watching all of the units and the way they move and the way they engage. But usually you have a hard time producing, you know, the triple kind of tech uh, with, uh, with Protoss. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get the Twilight Council first, as well as the Robotics Bay. Uh, a robotics facility, rather. Obviously, those two you can usually combine reasonably well, as long as you've got uh, as long as you've got the uh, you know the gas taken on both of the bases. Why is my photon overcharge not going? All right, get it, get him, photon overcharge, get him. There we go. Whew. Blowing up all these dudes. I'll send my adept back home. Obviously, normally you'd want to chase him down with a shade, but whatever. Look at that, though. That's so funny. Nice. But so far, I've been... Like, I know I keep repeating this over and over again, but I've been genuinely impressed by the way this runs. It runs super smoothly. I am looking forward to the first tournament in this. Because I am sure that it's going to be a thing. People can just simply play the multiplayer version of the game, just like it's the normal game, except it's, it's not the normal game, right? Alright, so first things first, we'll make a, an observer. We'll make an observer here. Is my stalker still alive? Did my stalker die? Oh, man, my stalker died. I'm sorry, Mr. Stalker. Didn't mean to do that. We'll make a sentry as well while we're at it. And I'll also add on a couple more gateways. Because those are going to be very helpful for us. We'll be going for the War Prism here too. Actually, we'll go for the Immortal first. Probably a little bit easier. I got the uh, the Glaives upgrade coming in. Just because that's really good against Marines. And with my... Yeah, I think we're going to be good to go. With my... Um, with my um, gateway soon finishing up, I think we can start moving across the map with a bunch of adepts. There are a heck of a lot of marines there already, and that's my observer, by the way. Very helpful. Finally, that reaper is gonna go down. That took a little while. We'll bring the war prism here too, and it looks like I can start warping in my very first unit. There we go. Get me some more pylons too. And I think we're pretty much good to go. Gonna go ahead and research those instead. And that is an immortal right there. Look at that masculine. <laughs> that masculinity right there is ridiculous. We'll get the robotics bay here now too, so we can start adding on some more of our stuff. And I think we're just gonna start moving across the map. I mean, we got a lot of things here. 
It seems like the dude just pops up every single time a unit is created. <laughs> Which is fair enough. Alright. Alright, alright. Marines, not on my watch. Not on my watch. Got more, uh, more and more gateways coming in. Okay. Man, there's a lot of battle going on here as well. Maybe I should go ahead and help out my ally. We haven't considered doing that really yet in this game. Probably should go ahead and do that, huh? Okay, here we go. <laughs> we'll go for the, uh, the time stop, or what? what's it called again? Uh, what's it called? The time warp? Okay. We're gonna be able to deal with this eventually. I probably should have helped out my ally a long time ago. I'm really not used to playing multiplayer. <laughs> or like multiplayer games like this where you play a, uh, a 3v3. We'll go ahead and take out this expansion and then back off. Making my first Colossus now. Um, and I'm thinking about adding on my Starport here next as well as my Dark Shrine. And I also want to be going for the High Templar just to showcase what those look like as well because I haven't seen those yet. Ooh, man. Ooh, that's one of the skins right there for the Marine. No! War Prism! Oh, man, my War Prism got wrecked. Alright, I think we're okay, though. I mean, they may be showing- they may be throwing American footballs at me. But those Marines die just fine, even if they've got a bag on their head. Not really my concern. Alright. Uh, first Colossus will be joining the fray very shortly. I also- there we go. <laughs> I also want to be going here for a Disruptor because we can, and at the same time I'm gonna be getting the- I wanted to get the Extended Thermal Lens, but I don't really have to gas for it. Hmm. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll have to add on some extra pylons here, because I did just hit a supply block. Ugh. It's a little difficult to play at first, but I think if I play a couple more games, I'm gonna be good to go. Look at that dude. Oh, as soon as we start researching Storm, he starts being badass. Nice. Uh, I also want to be going for the Fleet Beacon. That's what it's going to be looking like here. Dark Shrine is about to finish up, don't really have a whole lot of gas, sadly. But I can be sending them across just fine. We'll add on some more zealots here too. And with the next round of uh, income that I got, I think we're gonna go ahead and warp in a couple of things. Um, so you know what actually? We'll wait here for a second. Ooh, that's my disruptor. Dude, it looks like a Dragon Ball. Look at this ability. Purification Nova looks like a Dragon Ball. Alright, let's go. Let's go. It is a Dragon Ball! <laughs> Alright, Colossus, go to town. At the same time, I'm gonna warp in some more Dark Templar and we're gonna move those across the map too. Although, they actually do have a lot of stuff here. Okay, Dragon Ball time! Nice. Nice. Alright, Dark Templar. Uh, Dark Templar, you guys go... I don't know, you guys can go up the ramp. Just go ahead and be a pain. Go ahead and hurt those Terran players. They're playing music over there. Kill the Terrans! Okay, we're going home. We're going home again. Gonna be getting my Phoenix, my Void Ray, my old shenanigans, all of the things I can find. Ooh, get out of there. Get out of there. I will bring some more Zealots. Very good. Very good. And while I did end up losing pretty much my entire army, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. We'll warp in some, uh, well, you know what? I actually also want to go for charge. Even though I don't have that much gas, I think charge would be fun to mess around with. And we're going to also chrono boost those out. Let me make a couple of high Templar here too. They go quite well, obviously. And we can't forget about the, uh, the Archon too. There we go. Ooh, two become one. Nice. There we go. Got him. That's so funny. That's so cool. Alright. Um, so, my phoenix is up. Where's my phoenix? Oh, there you are. It's like a half moon. We got my oracle coming out as well. We'll try and do some harass with that dude. Wanna go for the void ray, then the tempest, and then eventually the carrier already as well. Although, did he just die? Oh! Woo! He didn't die just yet. Okay. Get him! Oracle going to town here as well. That Colossus is doing a lot of damage. Not bad. 
Not bad. There's a bunch of mule over there. Lift them up. Lift up the mule. Lift up the mule. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Um, there we go. We got our void ray, and I also want to go ahead and get the tempest as well as the carrier. Let me make some more high templar actually, because I do want to cast storm if I can. All right. So now that we've made pretty much all of the units in the game, I think it is time for us to start focusing here on obtaining the victory. My bases is about to, or my bases are starting to mine out. That's not a good thing. You know what? I'll go ahead and grab that one. And. Maybe I should go for another Colossus. Colossus seem to be really good. That, 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 that one dude we had at the very least got a ton of damage in. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Ooh, there we go. Charge slots. Doing a lot of work. Going for the prismatic alignment. Adding in my, some more adepts here too. Because generally speaking they seem a little bit better. And there we go. We got the Tempest. Not bad! Okay, carrier is obviously on the way as well. That one's gonna be rather helpful too. And I do wanna get I do wanna get the extended thermal lance here eventually. Okay. Shade up the ramp. Ooh, he doesn't have a whole lot of stuff anymore. I think we've killed a lot of the eco. Okay. The one Tempest is gonna be pretty good, actually. Get him! Dude, there's a whole lot of Liberator there. Maybe I should go ahead and, and grab myself another Tempest, just because they, they do quite well. Alright, alright, well... We need more stuff! I don't have any income anymore. My base didn't, didn't make it either, sadly. We got our carrier here. The big fat thing. Maybe I should try and get a Mothership, too. I should get a mothership. Mothership will be helpful. Almost forget about that thing. Alright, carrier, go to town. Kill him. Liberate those guys. They need freedom. Alright, uh, you should also go ahead and build some more interceptors. That will be helpful. I've got, like, no income anymore. This is, this is unfortunate. I have no income. Hmm. I've got no more income. This is, this is not, not ideal. I've got a lot of bases, or I've got a lot of, you know, things taken here. The bases sadly aren't old, or like there aren't all that many bases in the map. Ooh, I got a lot of resources from my friends. Alright, thanks. Thanks, they gave me a bunch of resources, that makes it easier. Uh, I think 43 Harfesters for 3 manual patches is, is a little much. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and go over here. I need that base, I need that base. I'm, uh... I'm uh, gonna try and see if we can secure it. I got the minerals here to make uh, to make the expansion, so that's good. A lot of liberators also going down though. We need to take out this stuff. Can I morph it into a uh, in the mothership? I can. That is far higher priority. Ooh, there's already a mothership for my ally. All right, here we go. By the way, morphing into mothership four. Okay. Uh, 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 get that Thor. That Thor is trying to get out. Get it. Okay. I want to grab the expo here too. Oh god. My mothership core, or my mothership at the very least is, uh, is about to finish up. We got our allies mothership. That's good. I really need to get the expo. Oh no, I have no more income. <gasps> Alright, we'll, we'll mine from there. I've got no more income. That mothership was not worth it. But it's a mothership, so you know. <laughs> I can't even select it. I can't even cancel it either. We've got no more income. This is a bit of an issue. We're gonna start doing some long distance mining. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is this is not what we were hoping for. We should probably go ahead and head home. I'm dead at home. Uh, I, I need some help. I need some help here. I'm afraid I've got nothing. I've got nothing, boys. My mother, I got a mothership. I got a mothership. There's that. Mothership, finish up quick. Alright, alright. We need to go home. We need to go home. Can I do this? Did I do it? Yeah! He doesn't have scans. Let's hope he doesn't have scans. No, 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 no! Crap! That was not what I was hoping for. Mariners, striking again. 
I could have killed him like 18 times already if I wasn't making every single unit in the match. Oh no. I need some help defending this. Uh, and that is my resources gone. Uh, I'm I'm out. I, I'm out of resources. I'm out of resources. I, I don't have anything left over. Now there are still a whole lot of void rays and it looks like the opposing team isn't really mining either. So as long as these marines are dead, I think we're going to be still obtaining the victory here. I can't even make a probe anymore. Uh, anyone, anyone has some minerals for me? That would be helpful. <laughs> I just typed that in old chat. That would probably be uh, be unnecessary, but here we go. Void race coming in. Catch him off. Oh no! Oh, the widow mine! The widow mine did so much damage. Widow mines. Wait, where did all these resources come from? Oh, man, I just was given so much stuff. One of my allies just gave me a ton of resources. Macro is overrated, guys. We don't need macro. We don't even need bases. We're just gonna build some things. We're gonna need observers, though. No, 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 Oh, that was our only way of winning, dude. You, oh my, oh my god. Oh. Oh no. Well, maybe we're still okay. I got a ton of resources. I think we'll be okay. Alright, alright, alright. I'm warping in as much as I can here. Going here for uh, the observer as well, because we're gonna need that. We're gonna need that if we want to obtain anything here. I don't think we, we really need to worry about expenses anymore. I'm gonna try and kill those, uh, those, uh, those, uh, those things. Where are they? I've got a single probe as well. You know, I probably shouldn't waste it, but... I don't know if the Widow Mines are still here. Uh, looks like they're not. They're not here anymore. We'll warp in some more Adepts. No one's ever said that there were too many Adepts in a game. Okay. Okay. We've got to make sure that we win the game, okay? I'm really worried for these Widow Mines. They're scary. But I think we've got enough. I think we've got enough stuff. Nice. Nice. We don't have a whole lot left over here, but those Widow Mines could still kill us. If we're not careful. Oh, there they are. Alright. We'll just use the... Uh... Ooh. Those are not Archons that I really want to be messing with. But I think we'll be okay. Nice. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Gotta be careful, obviously, because the missile turret is gonna shoot at our observer. And I can't really afford losing that. All things considered, though, looks like we're going to go ahead and destroy their bases. And we're taking, basically, their entire side of the map. The Cypher is murdering pretty much everything that is left over here as well, and... I still got my probe. Uh, I need, I need... I... I, I, I need 50 min. Anyone? 53. I need 53 minerals. <laughs> I don't think anyone has got any kind of any kind of minerals left over anymore. But I don't think it really matters either. Because we have successfully destroyed all of the bases that the opposing team had on this map. We're gonna move out a little bit more to try and see if we can find their final units. But it looks like slowly but surely none of them have got any more or any units left over. And while they may be hiding somewhere on the map. And we are here to obtain victory, of course. I think we're in a pretty good spot. I think we're in an okay spot. Gonna run around the map, see if we can find where they're currently located, because... Apparently they're not quite ready to give up this match yet. They might be... They might be... They might be just floating around in the... In the corner. Where are they? Oh! Dude, I wasn't seeing it! I saw it! I found it! I found it! Oh! Found the scoundrel. Get him. Get him, dudes. <laughs> can I dance? No, uh, not all of them can. But I think that that is going to be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little bit of a different game as well. Showcasing all of the Protoss units that are available. I think I made all of them. 
Anyway, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more content of this, let me know by hitting up that subscribe button as well so you get a notification as soon as I upload more. And other than that, if you don't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Links are down below in the description. And other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, alright? And I will see you in the next one.